All right, move on to mine. And uh, I don't know how much you guys have kind of seen about this, but um, I'll tell you one thing. The ACC is going to be a revolving door of got teams that we talk in week in, week out. And the darling coming out of this week <laughs> is Mr. Fran Brown and Kyle McCord. Fran Brown stands on business. Now, I say this facetiously a little bit because I don't even quite understand the entire reaction that Fran Brown had. But the man stood on business when business might not even actually have been there, but he created the business. I want to preface it with this before we get into it, Ralph. We've got maybe we got that down there. Still, if he's still watching, we've got a a great we've got an expert on standing on business. If he's still in in the chat, Sam, if you're back, if you're still in the chat, you're our standing on business expert. Maybe you can help us understand what went on here. So let's let's kind of take it back. I have went. I've gone back and was you know watching. Uh, this is gonna. We're gonna play this clip here in just a second. Gone back and watched Brent Key's press conferences. Okay, so Fran Brown was at Western Carolina. Now people can correct me if I'm right or wrong here. Fran Brown was at West Western Carolina. Fran uh, Brent Key was there for a very short period of time. The question was posed: Did he know him? And Brent Key said no I, I i and i don't even know how you would he just said no he didn't really know him and then obviously fran brown has been coaching at georgia you know um did did you know him there or did you did you ever cross paths something along the lines of that and he said no once again i don't really know the guy and then the question was posed and i don't want to quote brent key in this but he he he's pretty much said we while you can worry about scheme x's and o's we have to go be the tougher team okay face value there's nothing wrong with those comments he said he didn't really know the guy okay well it is what it is fran brown manufactured (laughs) bulletin board material now here's the thing it worked syracuse wiped georgia tech up and down the dome on Saturday. The final score may tell you something. I get that. But if you really look at that game and the way it was played, Syracuse played very, very well, and they did kind of what they wanted to offensively, especially against Georgia Tech's defense. And outside of Haynes King, nothing was really working, especially the run game for Georgia Tech. We'll talk about that later in the week. But So Fran Brown gets into the postgame press conference, and we had known that there was a little bit of um, bulletin board material, stuff like that. And I want to add in this, too. A clip was posted online about Fran Brown and Brent Key's exchange after the game. And some people, reporters, professional professional reporters, tried to make it seem that this was um, a big deal. You watch it. Fran Brown says, hey, talks to his son. Hey, this is Coach Key. They exchange some words. And not even like I mean that in the the aggressive sense. They just exchange, you know, words or whatever. And and then, obviously, we get to the post-game press conference where this – takes place so this is fran brown's comments to a reporter who is a syracuse based reporter um about the post game so i'll uh i knew i do know ralph i've got to hit play on here we'll hope that the uh the audio works but but here's the the post game comments about 40 seconds or so you guys tell me if you can hear it as well you and who won the most fourth down today we did yeah because he said he wanted to fight from two out of four so that's all i was thinking about from two out of four that's why i was very and you know me so it's a big difference when you know who I am and you come at me about toughness. Like, don't do that. I took this. Per- this game was very personal. And then you know that I coach with Kirby Smart and Muschamp. So why would I be? T- why would we not be a tough physical football team? That's just what they do, and that's what are we about? And that's where I was at. And I did take that very personal. And I want to make sure everyone understands that when you play us, just be quiet. So then that way we're just gonna go worry about us throughout the week. Don't give no ammo to me. You give ammo to me, I'm coming at you full tilt. Okay, so that's that's essentially the comments that were made. Now, now let's break this down. I, I want to. There's multiple from angles, a fundamental like, standpoint. From a fundamental standpoint, kids and coaches. Here we go. On one side, I have zero problem, and I hope everyone hears when I say this. I have zero problem with Fran Brown taking what was probably not even, and I don't believe that. Brent, I don't even know. I, I'm not inside Brent Key's mind to understand this. I don't believe that he meant what Fran Brown took it as. I have zero problem with a coach providing bulletin board material in terms of him manufacturing something for his own locker room inside closed doors. I have zero problem with that. If it motivates you to win, okay, sounds good. Tech fans were on social media saying it's classless. 
I've reached to the point now, we've kind of gotten to the point where a large portion of this tech fan base just loves to complain about anything and everything all the time. And it's just kind of exhausting at times. But that's every single fan base, and some are louder than others. But I, So I have zero problem. Inside the locker room, if you want to say, hey, he said they were going to be the tougher team. Guys, but folks, people say that all the time. Like that, you know, that part of that pregame speech happens all the time. The, the the thing about Fran Brown, though, is he's a motivator. We talked about this being a, a potentially really good hire. You can tell there's a culture establishing up there in terms of that. And Fran Brown and Kyle McCord might be the marriage that Syracuse fans needed to be relevant in the ACC once again, because Kyle McCord's a dude. But I will say the post-game press conference was weird to me because it was um, – I, I don't – I didn't quite understand it because you go back and watch – and I don't know, I don't think you guys went back and watched the Brent Key press conference. There's nothing that alludes to him making a specific comment other than saying he didn't really know him. I, I don't think that was a personal shot. I think Brent Key – look, I, Brent Key does not love press conferences. He does not love talking to the media. He probably just sat there and was like, yeah, I, I really didn't know him. We weren't together very long. But it's not like he said he's not worth a damn or he's not worth anything like that. Like, he just didn't know who he was. And I don't know. I just kind of sit here and I I don't – I think it's cool what Fran Brown did from an internal standpoint for their team. I don't understand – the the outward projection of it was a little weird to me. Um, But it worked. And we can talk a little about Syracuse, but I wanted to get y'all's thoughts on just kind of those comments – and the idea of taking something that works internally, putting on the outside, because look, that's kind of a hot topic. Deion Sanders does that, you know, over and over again, and it's failing. Kirby Smart does it. Kirby Smart. Kirby Smart does that. But Mm -hmm. I don't know if Kirby Smart says you better not disrespect. Like, we would have never heard Kirby Smart say when they played Alabama, well, you don't come at, you come at me and disrespect. Like, that would, that's just not, now now inside the locker room? Yeah. Like, remember when they beat Well, let me just say, so they they said that people were saying they're going to go seven and five after winning the national championship. Okay, fair, fair, yes. And no one, I, I don't know if anyone said that. Said that. Yeah. Defending Kirby, national champions going seven and five. Kirby definitely took exception in 2017 to Gus Malzahn saying we whooped the dog crap out of them. There you go. Okay, yeah. And and he turned it into motivation. I mean, that's but what that's thing, what well, motivators that occurred. Did. That actually occurred. Right. We don't even know if this stuff. I I, I still can't find the actual evidence of of Brent Key saying something personal I, about this but your thoughts y'all's thoughts on this I I really find it funny because we've Ram Brown is doing what we've seen a lot of people a lot of other people do maybe I should just leave it at that but taking taking a comment and spinning it and and getting really fired up and upset about it we've seen a lot of people do that yeah we have I know exactly who he's referring to. I'm I'm, I'm lost. It's going. Bryce right doesn't know what I'm referring to. Okay, I'm we, yeah. I'm Look, just gonna leave it there. I'll I, leave I it at that. But there there, there <laughs> are comments that you could take and and use them to motivate your team. Hundred percent agree with that statement. Uh, we praise the key. Yeah, I agree. If Brent um, Key is kind of, Brown said, "Technically, we praise the key." Ken Hendricks. That's Brent kind of key what I was alluding to. Brent Key has done that at Tech. Is what Kim Hendricks does. But if you're if you're gonna go public about it, at least find us tell us where he said it so we can find it and you know break it down also because like Bryce said, I don't know where Brent Key said this. I don't know where it was, you know, publicly said unless unless we're just missing a whole different interview that we hadn't seen yet. And it was probably it was probably just in his press conference. He's like, well, you know, we just have to be the tougher team. That's what it was. Which he, well, he, You he have said, to be the tougher yeah. team nine said, times out of ten to win a football team. game. He said from 12 to 2, we were going to be the – we had to be a tougher team. And, and then he – and I think he might have said – I think Fran Brown heard from 12 to 2, we're going to be the tougher team. You know, in situations like that. Yeah. Either way, and I said this to y'all, Fran Brown coached a hell of a game. They they really did. They are who we thought they were, and we <laughs> let them off the hook. I like it. But uh, well, and, and and Ultima says this real quick. I think everyone who wants their coach to show some fire, regardless of famous, will said bring Fran Brown round all yeah. Because here's the thing, and, and Ralph, I'm I'm go right back to you what you were saying. It's whether or not 
opposing fans are going to be petty. Your job as a head coach of Syracuse is not to be the favorite for um, yeah. the favorite of Georgia Tech fans. I saw so many Georgia Tech fans on social media being like, "I'm not going to root for Syracuse anymore." Well, you should. Um, well, where are you like, the first that, that you're a fan of Georgia Tech. Like that doesn't make any sense. Um, Syracuse they they coached well, and look, we talked about this. This is the thing. I, I just was. I remember being told that we just have terrible takes that never come true. Fran Brown is not a bad hire. Fran Brown was going to bring a culture change. They brought in some dudes up there, and Georgia Tech's got a heavy dose of that. And so, um, I, I don't, I don't know. In this situation, like I think Syracuse could be fun to watch. A very easy, manageable schedule the rest of the way. Could they make a run to Charlotte? I, I don't know. It's week two. I can't tell you that right now. I think that it sets up well if they keep playing. If Kyle McCord keeps throwing for 300 yards and three tutties in the first half against everyone they play, then, yeah, they'll be there. Um, but Kyle McCord's good. He's not a bad quarterback. He was but, dealing at Ohio State last year, and, they, and hey, Ohio State fan blamed him for it. He was, yeah. He's not good enough to play at Auburn, though. No, he's not, Will, and, and no one is, apparently. <laughs> um, I, I'll say this one more thing, though. And, and with, with, with Fran Brown and their, his coaching staff and who he got, he killed it in the portal. He didn't go after the big name guy. Now he got Kyle McCord, obviously, but once he got McCord, he was able to bring in some more offensive weapons to help him out. You know, there's some guys who played on Saturday. Uh, one name we we all recognize, Jackson Meeks from uh, Central okay. High School. He he looked good. In his in his few reps he played on, he he looked good out there. Yeah. Um, but he had, I mean, it 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 looked like Georgia Tech could not get any pressure. I think Fran Brown found a way, obviously to fire up his team, to fire up this fan base, win a big win at home, you know, and going off of week, week one's performance against Ohio, giving up so many rushing guards and almost losing to Ohio, and then coming back and playing a, a, a conference team and just completely flipping the game. Yeah. I mean, he's – I mean, if – we could take – you could take this however you want to. He did the right thing. He got his fan base fired up. He got his team fired up. They won a big game at home, and now they have the rest of the season to continue this this on, and then maybe, maybe like you said, maybe make a run to Charlotte. I mean, maybe they do. Maybe. No one's saying maybe. that they will, but why? It's week two. We're saying maybe. Also, it's the ACC. Who has shown that they're any good consistently? Boston College. Nobody. Boston Miami. College. Miami and Boston, Boston College. Boston College. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, it's not it's fit. not a. I don't, I don't understand. I'll just say this. I don't understand the outward projection. It's just folks like you got to keep the same energy both ways. If Brent key did that, if Brent key, let, okay, let's just, let's play the hypothetical. Cause I'm telling you this actually happens whether you like it or not. And you think, cause a lot of people, a lot of fans of different teams, they like to sit up there with their tea and they like to put the pinky out and think that they're just better. They're more cl high class. The high class teams, you go five and seven, you go six and six, and you play in the Music City Bowl. Um, the teams that have a little edge to hey them. Now, hey now, hey now, hey, 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 oh, hey. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Hey, that's the last bowl game Auburn won. I'm sorry, apologies. <laughs> but here's what I say with this is like, if your coach, who regardless of what team you're, you're thinking of, if you got that fired up and manufactured, they'd make T-shirts the next week about it. That's what they would do. That's exactly yeah. the students actually be wearing t-shirts about it. So it's all about who it, it's the same conversation that I have when it comes to different showboating or something like that. If you don't like it because your a rival team does it or another team does it, imagine if it was your big player that did it. You well, love it. You'd eat it up. Well, well, Bryce, like you said, always, if you don't like it, beat them. Don't let it happen. Yeah, like, let don't happen. let them get up there and say that. I mean, beat him, beat him so I, just don't have a, I don't have a problem with taking a comment. Okay, go back to that hypothetical scenario. Let's let's go ahead and go into this. I guarantee you there's some Georgia coach, okay, sitting here at the end of the season when they play Georgia Tech at the end of the year saying, guys, they, they don't belong in the same class as you. They don't belong. But people are going to take that personal. That's called motivational speak. And I guarantee you if that ever got wind – that's post in the locker room. Brent Key is blowing a would blow a comment out of proportion to motivate his team. Every single coach does that. The difference is Fran Brown went public with it post game, and that to me was a little weird. Uh, but that's just that's his style. And like Doctor Bob said earlier, he said, uh, you know, I can't wait to see what Brown says when they lose to UNLV. If they do, that's the territory Fran Brown wants to be in as a head coach. So he's going to have to learn how to roll with when it wins. It's fun when it's lost. You got to take it on the chin. Different coaches are different, but I guarantee you everyone tries to blow out 
comments, press conference, whatever it is for motivation for the other team. Perfect example. Brian Kelly mispronounced Dylan Edwards' name today. The all ridiculous freshman defensive end that uh, that South Carolina has. I saw and within three minutes, South Carolina fan pages saying he don't even know who they are. Because that's the kind of stuff that's misconstrued. It's just, it's fodder, it's talk, it's it's conversation like that. It's not personal. Everything is not personal. It's Everything is not a personal attack on your fandom, regardless of who you are. Now, Fran Brown took a public, I wouldn't have done that, but that's his style. And if they lose bad or if they get embarrassed, he's going to have to wear that on the chin. That's his style. That's kind of my final take. So, 